Welcome to Sandstone Gold. I'm Chloe Hill and I'm at London Bridge, not the London Bridge, but just outside of a little country town called Sandstone in Western Australia. Let's go find some gold. When well, I don't want to know Cornbread, peat, and black molasses But I don't want to know Cornbread, peat, black molasses It is my pride Lord, 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 it is my pride Oh Well, my baby She won't act with me my baby Up and she don't quit me Well I'm down and black Oh now I'm locked in jail Well I don't want no Cornbread peas and black molasses I don't want no Cornbread peas and black molasses it hurts my pride But hey, hey, yes it does And I will ease it On until I make a little money Take it easy On until I make a little money I've tried hard Probably just leave that like that. The other option is to put in a dolly pot and smash it up and break it up because then all the gold, when you dolly it up in the pot, all the gold will, will well, because it's malleable, it'll all join together. Oh, okay. And um, wow. it's pretty soft. Yeah. And, um, and you just end up with one blob or a few little blobs of gold in the bottom of the pot. Yeah. Sad, so there'll be more here than that. There'll be plenty more. That's sitting on the ground. Thanks, Craig. That's right. That's awesome. No props. Hey, this is a Karajong tree. Right. Uh, cattle will eat that. Yeah. It's very good. You can always tell uh, uh, yeah. with the bark and the wood control is rough. If you have a look around there, the western side of this tree, the bark is rougher than the eastern side. So, this isn't a very good example of one. Some other Karajong trees are very much plainer than that that you can see west. Really, really rough bark on the west, mm. smooth bark on the east. Mm. So we call these Karajong? Karajong. Yeah, great. Learn something new every day. Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. We have the uh, Shire President, Beth. Um, and how are you going, Beth? 
Good, good. Now, what was it like? I believe you're a, um, born and bred in sandstone. Yes. What was it like growing up in sandstone? Uh, it was oh, it was great. It was a lovely, quiet little place, and um, you know, you had a lot of freedom. A lot of freedom as a kid. You could we used to go out all day, and we used to, the lady that owned the hotel here had six kids, and um, at the end of like end of the day, when you'd be out playing all day, she'd do a big whistle. Yeah. And so then you know, have kids going from everywhere, all going home, and so it was it was very free. Yeah. And your parents, they're from. Perth or Sandstone? No, my, my mother came over from South Australia when she was two yeah. and was brought up on a station just out of about 12 k's out of Sandstone. Oh, no. And then when she she just um, brought my brother and myself up by herself and she was a contract musterer. Yeah, wow. um, and yeah, she sort of worked like a man. And, yeah, um, what a strong lady. Yeah, she was. She was a very, very strong lady. Yeah, and so you stayed to Sand sandstone like up until teenage years? Or? I went away to boarding school when I was 12 and went away and had a bit of a career. I was a dental nurse and did a few other things mm -hmm. and then I came back here 30 years ago for 12 months Wow, and still here. Wow so, and yeah. what brought you back? Uh, well I just wanted to come back and spend some time at home with my mum yeah, for so 12 months. So she still months. lives here? She passed away a few years ago but she, up till then she was here till she was 83. Wow. So, yeah, I just wanted to come home and then I, when I came back, I thought this is a great life for bringing up children because I had three, yeah. so that's what made me decide to stay. I work at the school and still work at the school, so. So you're a teacher? I'm the registrar there. Yeah, okay. So that's what sort of made me decide to stay, you know, it's just the freedom, I guess. Yeah, and now you're the Shire President yes. as well. Yeah. Oh, great. And, and what does Anzac Day mean to you? Yeah, um, uh, Anzac Day to me, I mean I, I must admit that's something very dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. I mean I often think about how young the young boys in World War One and World War Two, they're 17, 18, 19 and I have a son myself and mm -hmm. I often think about how I'd feel mm -hmm. if he was going away to war at that age. Uh, so I, I think it's a really important day to remember those, those mm -hmm. young men and that went over and fought for our country to give us freedom. Yeah, and especially because of the, the history of Sandstone, I guess it drew a lot of people out, a lot of the population out of Sandstone back in the early 1920s. It did. So it would have because in the early part of the 19th century, we probably had, you know, there was about six to eight thousand people in Sandstone, and once the war came along um, and people went away to war, that's yeah. I mean, a lot of Sandstone then the population went down, mm. and. Um, but I mean, it's it's survived. So, yeah, 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 it has survived. It has survived, and I guess now it's more about a lot of it is about tourism, mm -hmm. and so that's something that we're big on as a shire, encouraging you know tourism, um, because I think that's probably a big thing that will keep this town going is tourism, and um, a lot of people come out to prospect, and and of course we've got a huge road ne network. We've got Sandstone's got twenty eight thousand square kilometres. So we look after a big network of roads, but it's not just about roads, it's, it's also about you know keeping the town really um, vibrant and mm. encouraging people to come to come here. It's, it's just, a, you know, I think it's just a lovely place to, Yeah, it is, to live. and you've got the new water park. Yeah. yeah no, and the great. night, I mean, a lot of people also come out to Sandstone because of the night skies, because yeah. especially people that come from the city, they don't see the stars, and, mm -hmm. and that's something as a show we're working on is um, we hope to get a little small observatory out here. Yeah, that'd be great. So that um, people can really look at the night skies. And yeah, it draws people. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you, Beth. I appreciate your time today. Um, it's been really great um, sharing your knowledge on sandstone. That's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.
Hi, here we have um, Sandra, who was the guest speaker today at today's ceremony in Sandstone. Um, and Sandra's just going to tell us what Anzac Day means to you. Various people have um, their own ideas on what Anzac Day should be. Um, for me, it's a time to say thank you, as we have much to be thank thankful for. Um, not only from those that um, that died as a result of the war, but from those that came back home. Um, and I always say never forget to say thank you to a soldier. Um, so Anzac Day is a time not to remember just those that died, but just to remember what we have and why we have it. Um, Thank you for your time and sharing your information. Um, it's been really valuable um, to us. So thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Here we are today in Sandstone, and um, I've got Jack with me, and he's going to tell me what Anzac Day means to him in Sandstone. I came to Sandstone six years ago, and a lady from the Caribbean Park invited me to the Anzac Day ceremony, and I said uh, that. I wouldn't go because I had, hadn't. I, I was a Vietnam veteran, and I hadn't picked my medals up, and uh, I'd never been to an Anzac Day ceremony since I came home. And she said, "Oh, that's all right, but we're going to have a, a barbecue after, and all the beer you can drink." So. And that, that got you in. That got me in. I was here, and I've been to the Anzac Day in, in Sandstone ever since. Wow! And so that's been six years. Is that? Six years I've been coming. Here. And you're originally from Queensland? I live, I live in the bush in Queensland, yes. Yep. Yep. And you drive over? I come over, I spend a couple of months prospecting here, then I go home again. Yeah. Awesome. And I get ready to come again the next year. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. And my mate Craig, he comes here. Aren't you Craig? Yep. Come mm -hmm. here for the winter time, yep. or thereabouts. Come here for the... Autumn? Is it the autumn or the spring now? It's the autumn. Yeah, autumn yeah. Come here for the autumn. Yep. Head up north for the winter at Marble Bar Way where it's... Get out of the cold. Get out of the cold, exactly. That's yeah, right. Yeah. And um, start there for a couple of months, two or three months and head south. Back down this way then end up wherever I end up for the summer. Hopefully a nice beach somewhere or... Beautiful. Or, um, yeah, a nice beach somewhere. I can't think of anywhere else to end up for summer. And that's been happening for quite a few years now, and that's good. I enjoy it. And you like spending Anzac Day in Sandstone? <clears throat> well, I've spent the last few years, yeah. Um, yeah. It doesn't really matter where you spend Anzac Day, it's a place of, of reflection, I think, on, yeah. and, and respect for what, for what our, our grandparents and great grandparents did for us to, to for our freedom. Otherwise, we'd all be very different now. Yeah. and to appreciate what they did and what they sacrificed for us all. Definitely. Um, very hard to comprehend, but um, um, it's a very important day, no matter where you are, yeah. yeah. But this is a good place to spend it, because it's low key, yeah. and, it's, and, it's, and it's a very nice little community. It's good, yeah, good place to spend it. Great. Um, yeah. Well, thanks, Craig, and thanks, Jack. Thank you. Right. Appreciate no your time. Okay. This is Trouty, and this is um, a true character of sandstone and he's just given me this piece of gold which is worth two thousand six hundred dollars um sorry Chowdy, you're a bit of a you're pretty good at finding gold i guess oh, i've been doing it for a long time and how, how long have you lived here for oh well i've been here on and off for about 50 years i've lived here for about probably 40 years. Yeah, wow. And what first brought brought you to Sandstone? Um, just coming around, looking, sniffing out gold. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And your family? Yeah, they, they uh, my mother and father-in-law was on the station at Anchor Toll, which is down about Thirty-five k's from here down towards Mount Magnet. Yep. And we used to come up from the farm to pay them a visit, and then I'd um, come into town with the old father-in-law, and we'd get on the booze with the old prospectors and that, and they'd take me and show me around, and, and you just, bango. Yeah, you just decided to stay. Yep, that's right. Did you meet your wife in Sandstone? No, 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 no. Down, 
down in the cocky country. <laughs> the wheat belt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, great. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Well, yeah. um, thanks for this. This is great. We have no worries. <laughs> <laughs> um, and anything else you can say about sandstone? Yeah, um, if you want to retire up here, it's not a bad little spot. Not a bad little it's destination. It's far away from a lot of services, but otherwise it's a good place to be. And I've heard that the um, the stars at night time are just amazing. Oh, aren't the they stargazing. Are. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Especially when you see the falling stars. Yeah, beautiful. Make the wish always over the gold. That's right. I've yep. got it now. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're heading to Sandstone, don't forget to say hello to this old character Chowdy when you're looking for gold and don't forget to have a look at the stars. Thanks Chowdy for your no time. Worries. I appreciate yep. it. You're welcome. <laughs> Take care. Yep. We didn't find any gold, but I got given some. I hope you enjoyed the program. And we'll see you at the next town. Snow, I'll buy it. My wife died long ago of cancer. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, yeah 20 years back. Yeah. No, I've had a lot of girlfriends when I've got another wife. Yeah. But I need a housekeeper now <laughs> to come and help me dig these things out. What are you implying, Charlie? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. So you don't have to run away. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Nice house in there. <laughs> That's right, I know, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. I'll be cashed up with all the gold. Looks that way, don't it? <laughs> well, little, you know, are, are you a little gold digger? <laughs> no, not at all. But my, you know, you know girl, all the gold spots, don't yeah, you? <laughs> and my girlfriend, she's called the gold digger. Is she? Yeah. You have a girlfriend then? Well, sort of. <laughs> sort of. She is my friend and she's a girl, so she is a girlfriend. That's isn't right, she? that's right. And she's been classed as a gold digger. Oh, a gold digger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>